whenever we create a project in Pro Tools, where exactly are those files recorded to and stored? I mean, we're not just streaming audio directly from the internet. Now, when we choose a session, we know exactly where those files are stored because we choose the location. But whenever we choose a project, we don't have that option down here. So to show this, I'll come to my Recents tab and open up this In the Clouds project. And as you can see, I have some audio already recorded here. So where is that recorded on my actual computer? So I'm on Windows here. So we'll come to our Documents folder, Pro Tools folder, and come down here to Project Cache. And then we'll see this randomly named folder. And in here, we'll drill down into these folders and see here's, here's one project I had. And then here's the project we're in currently, the In the Clouds project. And in here, you can see we have our audio files, which is our drum files that we showed earlier there. And we have clip groups, our render files, if we have any, our revision histories are all saved in this location in the project cache folder, okay? So this is the location where your files will be stored by default. Now we can change this, which we'll show at a later time. We can change this actually, but this is where you will want to look by default, at least, you know, if you're on Windows. Also, we can come up here to set up disk allocation and in this window, we can see exactly where our tracks are set up to be recorded to, where they're allocated to. So if you get confused, if you forget, if you can't find the location, just pop in there to disk allocation and see exactly where your audio is actually being recorded to. Then you can drill down into those folders and find exactly what you're looking for. And by the way, we can also choose this custom allocation option here and choose a different path for whatever track you want. But we'll look into changing the default project save path in a different video. What if you're done with a project and you no longer need your local cache? While technically you could delete these manually, I would not do that. Instead, come in here to your dashboard and go to your projects and then click this little down arrow here and just simply click remove local cache. That will delete these folders for you. Pro Tools will know what's going on so you won't run into any problems. So don't manually delete these. Just use the remove local cache command right here within your dashboard.